my name is uh, Wes Swagger, and I am the elementary physical education demonstration teacher at North Park Elementary School. And today I want to be able to show you how you as a teacher can navigate multiple windows and get students that are having trouble accessing live lessons on Nearpod from within Google Meets. So I've launched a live meeting on Google Meets, and I'm going to launch a live lesson on Nearpod. When your kids get into Google Meets and you want to get them to access your Nearpod lesson, you can copy the link from within Nearpod and paste it to your chat on Google Meets. And kids, most times, without a, a whole lot of troubleshooting, are able to access the live lesson just by clicking on the link you posted. You are going to run into students, though, that have internet connection issues. They, they, for whatever reason, they can't, we can't troubleshoot them into being able to get in live. But I still want them to be able to be engaged. So for them, I want to be able to click on the link myself and open up a separate window that will show a student view of the Nearpod lesson, just like I was going through it as a student. And I can go ahead and for the sake of students, change my name to Mr. Swagger and join the lesson. So now that I'm in, what I want to be able to do so that students that are engaged in the lesson only on Google Meets don't see all the clicking around when I share, is I want to be able to pull this window apart and make it its own separate window. From within Google Meets, I'm going to present a window, and I'm going to present the student view window of the live Nearpod lesson. That way, what they're seeing is what the other students are seeing, along with all the other windows because they're in Meets, but they don't see me click back over to the teacher view to progress slides forward. They don't see me click back over to Google Meets so I can check engagement in students' windows. All they see is the student view of the Nearpod lesson. So as I progress through and say we come to a fitness slide where students have to click on memory tiles to find a matching exercise. I can do this here on the student view and those that are following along on Google Meets can now do the exercise that I matched and the students that are doing the lesson live on Nearpod will do their own matches. And I can check back over on Google Meets to check different levels of engagement from within, all, from within all the students. I can go back, I can try to make another match for them and play the live slides that they are, for whatever reason, unable to get into. And as I come up with a match, they'll do the exercise in their screen. And again, I'm just checking for engagement. If I were to progress through to say a poll slide where I'm gonna pose a question to students, where on live Nearpod, they can select the answer they want. Students that are on Google Meets and couldn't get in can still see the slide everybody else does, and they can use the chat feature to enter which answer they think they'd like to answer. And I can check both the teacher side of Nearpod, that shows that students are answering the poll question. And I can also check Google Meets and see what all the other students are checking from within the chat feature. And for me, it allows me to monitor engagement without the students that couldn't get in seeing all the window clicking around, which has been a big help for them as we go through. So this is just a way to up your engagement and get some kids that couldn't get into your live Nearpod lesson in and able to engage. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me and thank you for watching.